Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are here at uh, Kwandege, as you can see. We are at the photo studio. Uh, this is where we work. Uh, not daily, but if you want photos, if you are a guy from around and you want some photos, here is the place to come. Now, today I have a story for you guys. And before I jump, I jump into that story, uh, I just want to introduce myself. My name is Nomad Saka. I am a Kenyan YouTuber. I do travel videos and uh, entertaining videos. <laughs> now, uh, I'm here with my good friend, as you can see. This is Mr. Omolo, aka Onjiko Boy. Omolo, say hi. Hi. Yes. Gideri Media. Gideri Media. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and we are also here with Mr. Frank himself, Luambo, and we are with Michele, Michele himself. So these two guys work here, as you can see, and uh, we, we had uh, an incident last, uh, last two days. Uh, guys, we were robbed here at the studio, and uh, they managed to, to go with our camera. Uh, it was a very expensive camera. It was on. Uh, it, it was fourth. There was a, a blackout in Kenya. The whole of Kenya. There was a blackout. So they timed when we were closing. We closed at, at nine, and uh, we came back at eleven. So they came between nine and uh, eleven. So that's when we realized that we have been robbed. Uh, they didn't break anything, the funny thing. You can see the door is still intact. The door is intact. So what they did, they had like, a, I don't know, it's a master key or something. So these guys came uh, between 9 and 11. They, they opened the, the padlock and they even went to the padlock. We never saw the padlock. And it's very unfortunate because if we could have seen the padlock, then uh, at least we could have known what method they used to, to open the door. Because they didn't break any glass. You see like here we have glass. We have glass here and here. And so we had like two cameras. One was here and the other one was there. But the one that was there is the one which was stolen. And I think the guy who stole the camera know where we put our cameras because we don't put our cameras here but that day the camera one camera was there the other one was there so they stole the one that was there and uh, it was very unfortunate because you see the cameras are very expensive and uh, as somebody who knows something about, about cameras knows that purchasing a camera is not easy and uh, they, they derailed us back at some point. So we're just trying to, to catch up with the, what happened. And I hope we will uh, overcome all this. Uh, we're just asking for your prayers, guys. So this is our studio. This is our photo studio. And uh, this is where people take photos. And we have like a gray background. We have like different colored uh, curtains. We even have the other backgrounds there. We have props. We have like uh, other props in here, depending on your liking. We have a washroom or a toilet. This is a mirror where people come and do makeup and all that. So guys, that's what happened. And uh, we are... We are here. And uh, that's it, man. We are robbed and... Do. Just pray for us as we continue doing this. You know, we do our our videos out there, knowing very well that the job is up and running. And uh, since this happened, I have to be here. I have to make sure that we buy another camera. I have to make sure that everything goes as planned. Yes, but for me, guys, I'll be moving soon. So I hope we'll catch up, guys. And that's it. I, before I go. I wanted to show you the famous Kwandege. This place is known as Kwandege. You can see it. This is Kwandege stage. 
And this is where our studio is located, you can see. This is our studio. And uh, this is Kwandegi, the hall of Kwandegi. And also I have a, my office is somewhere there, but I don't have the keys now. So, tell me what you think. Have you ever been robbed? Have you ever been uh, robbed or anything? Have you ever lost anything uh, expensive? But for me, I think any, anything that it's yours, if it's lost through robbery or something, it's not, it's not all right. Even if it's, uh, it's cheap, but it's yours. And someone robs you, you are property. It's not all right because we're trying to do our best and you know, through the blackout is when we lost our camera. And now you see the problem with the, the problem with the government. They, they, don't, they, don't, they don't give us like a notice before telling us that they will be having a blackout so that we can know what to do. Because this, uh, these things have been happening, not today. And that day, we didn't expect somebody to steal from us. And it was very un... I'd say we didn't, we were not ready. And uh, until now, we're just trying to figure out what happened. We've already reported the murder to the police. And I hope these people will be brought to book. But we have to continue working, we have to continue uh, uh, doing what we do best. So, uh, through this video, I want to thank a few people who came through for us, who, work, who are working with us through these tough times. And there's a friend of mine, uh, he's just uh, my neighbor here, so he's known as Sosi, and uh, he has already, he has come through, he, has, he came through for us, and uh, thank him for the little support that he gave. Uh, that's good, and uh, I really appreciate the, the people who, believe in us and the people who, are, who surround us around here so that's it for today guys uh, I guess I'll see you next time when I drop a new video peace and guys tell me your experience with theft what did you experience or when were you robbed what what happened just give us different experiences so that we can learn through the the experiences that you got and some people here can at least know what to avoid and what to do when such uh, things occur right until next time peace